In this video, we will demonstrate the working model of a Stirling engine. We light it up with a match. The gasing Stirling engine moves between two pistons, one hot and one cold. The alcohol lamp hits the hot end. As the wheel turns, the volumes of these two pistons change. Right now, the hot end is at maximum volume. Now, the cold end is at maximum volume. And as the gas moves between these two pistons, it heats and it cools. And this uh, becomes the basis of the engine cycle. Right now, the engine is working and it's turning. Uh, I have a IR thermometer with which I'm trying to measure the temperature of different parts of the engine. I don't know if I entirely trust this number, but it says the hot end is at about 100 degrees C and the cold end is at about the room temperature, 24 degrees C. Um, I was trying it with a few different places and I was getting inconsistent readings, so I don't know how much confidence I have in the numbers, but the hot end is somewhere around 100 degrees C, uh, give or take 20 or 30 degrees C or so. Okay, I blew out the alcohol lamp, but the engine will continue to run while the hot piston remains hot. But as with the turning engine, it eventually cools down enough that the engine no more, no longer works. And this is where I wasn't quite trusting the numbers. I think it's uh, cooler than 90 degrees C. Uh, what I need, really need to be able to do is measure the temperature of the air inside, but the IR thermometer doesn't work that way. Now, let me cut forward to the part of the video where I illustrate the real utility of a heat engine. Heat engine is a device that turns flow of heat, thermal energy, into mechanical energy. And one way we can use that mechanical energy is to generate electrical energy. And this device is set up to do that. I just connected the axle with um, a small generator, which is hooked up to a LED light. So I turned on the engine again, and it'll take a few seconds for the hot end to warm up. And once it's warmed up enough, we will run the engine and see what kind of output we get. All right, uh, not quite hot enough yet. A little bit more. Alright, so when the engine is turning slowly, the generator doesn't generate high enough voltage to turn the LED on. But as you watch this work, as the engine fully warms up and it's turning faster, it produces now voltage high enough to actually turn on the LED. And it's quite pretty. It's a model of um, how how heat engines are used. The most common use of a heat engine is to generate electrical energy in the form of steam turbines and other things. Um, and once it's a, once the energy is turned into electrical form, then there are many things we can do with that. One of which is to produce a visible light to light our home and what else? <laughs> so uh, this is a demo of a working engine, Stirling engine. It's not the most common form of practical engine you will find, but it's a very useful uh, demo tool because it's a uh, unlike an internal combustion engine. There are complicated parts and timing issues to worry about for the combustion part and the 
the externally applied heat is very easy to see. And this particular model is made with a transparent part, which allows you to see the changes in the volumes and all that. All right, um, I think that's enough of the engine to demonstrate. I turned it off here and I'll wrap up this video here. Thank you for watching. That's the temperature I measured, I don't know if I trust it.